everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Febri. In today's video, I am here on Berry Avenue because there has been a new update. Now, this new update includes a new large premium house, a new free house, free new cooking recipes, new Berry Avenue backgrounds, and makeup tools have been added to every location, which I know a lot of people wanted. So let's get straight into Berry Avenue and see what the update entails. Okay, so here I am in Barry Avenue. The first thing we're going to do is look on items because all the makeup tools should be here. Now, yes, so all the Sephora tools that we have in the LA map is now in all of the maps in Coon Barry Avenue. So you can actually use all of these just in Barry Avenue now. It's not just in the LA map or Sephora. This will be so good because I really want to do like a little makeup tutorial video. I think that would be so cool to do. Yeah, all the makeup is now here. We have all them. Oh, we also have the vlogging camera, which I love because I want to do like a vlog. So I can now take this and do like a travel vlog where I'm here and I go to like Paris or Santorini or LA. So yeah, all of these items are now in here. But the main focus of today is the new houses. So we're going to go ahead and get a vehicle and we're going to drive over to the neighborhood. Okay, so let's go to the neighborhood and see these new houses. So we have one new premium house, which is Game Pass house. And then we have one free house. I'm really excited to see what they're going to look like. And also the exciting bit today is that we also have new food recipes, which we haven't had in a long time. So I'm really excited to see what they are. Okay, so here we are. We're going to go ahead and stop over here and see what the new houses are okay so they should say new oh he, oh this is pretty okay so this might be the new premium house let's have a look oh it can only spawn large houses on large plots near the mountains okay so we need to go over here okay wait let me get in my car and drive over this is good news it means it's a very very big house okay so let's go up this hill to the larger plots okay here we go this should have it here you can see this plot is a lot larger as well okay so here we are Let's go ahead and load this house. Oh, stunning. Oh, look at the flowers. Aren't they so pretty? Oh, this gives me spring vibes. Look, it's gorgeous. So this is the first house. So I think this is a large game pass house that we have here. So let's have a look in the garage first. We have lots of space, as you guys can see, which is why it's on a large plot. If I just zoom out, you guys can see it takes up a lot of space. I mean, look at this house. Oh, this is like my dream house. It's gorgeous. But anyway, let's have a look in the garage. So we have two. Actually, no, we have three garage doors. Wow. We have a lot of space for cars. So this is perfect if you guys role play as a big family. I mean, look at this. We even have a separate garage space where my car would go. And then Josh's car can go in here. And then this also leaves access into the house. I love the oak doors. Very pretty. Let me just close these up and take the front door. Okay, so we're going to run over here, which is where the front door is. We have a beautiful porch over here too. Oh, I just love these flowers. They're so pretty. So we have these beautiful French doors, which are in like a blue kind of shade. So let's go in there. Oh, I love it. It's very like countryside. Oh, I love it. So to our right, we have a little study in here, which is nice and light. I love light wood. We have a cozy little space just to sit down and relax. And then we also have our desk where we can work from home. Yeah, this looks really pretty. I love the painting so you can put your own decals in here. So yeah, this looks really nice. And then this also leads to like an open plan. We have our cozy living room in here. Oh, look at the couch. It just looks so cozy. Okay, yeah, I want to move in here. We have these little side couches. We have a big fireplace. We have a TV and then we have these really pretty shelves up here too. Yeah, this living room is really cozy. We have really tall ceilings too. And you can see so many windows. So it brings a lot of light in. And then over here, we have a kitchen, which is once again open plan because it goes straight into the dining room, which is so cozy. And the kitchen's huge in here. Look, we have all of this space, which is so cool. We have our fridge over here. Oh, and then in here, we have a pantry, which has actually been decorated. Look, we have potatoes now and we have it all decorated up here, which is cool. But yeah, this looks so nice. I really like this. This might actually be my favorite house. I'm not gonna lie, so far, I really like it. I feel like this is where I would live. Okay, and then before we go into the garden, let's have a look down here. So we have two doors. This door is towards downstairs bedroom. Oh, which looks so cozy. Look at the big pillows and we have a fur on the bed. 
Oh, oh yeah, look, I'm getting into bed. Getting nice and cozy. Oh, this is nice. And you have like a beautiful view of the garden too. And then we also have our own walk-in closet. How cool is this? Yeah, this would be my room. This is where I can do my get ready with me makeup routine. And then I think we also have our own ensuite in here too. Oh, we have shutters. Wait, can you close these? Oh, I don't think you can, but how cool is that? Oh, we have a really pretty sink. Oh, I really like this. This looks so nice. I love like the little decorations, like little store chair here. We have a towel hanging up, a little basket. It really adds to it. And look, we have a gorgeous walk-in shower too. Yeah, this looks really nice. This is definitely my dream house. I want this house in real life. And then opposite, we should just have a utility room over here. So we have everything you need for cleaning. And then I guess this leads to the garage. Yeah. So all this is linked, which is perfect. And then now let's have a look upstairs. So upstairs, we have this beautiful railing. So you can actually look down at the living, which is so cool. And then we have a room separate over here, which is... Oh, it's a kid's bedroom! Oh my gosh, this is cute! So if you have like twins, they could like sleep in here. That is adorable. Oh, I love it. And look, little gaming chair over here too. So, you know, the kids can fight over who gets to play. Oh my gosh, I love the little butterfly effect on here too. That is so cute. So they're at the end of the hall. And then if we go down here, we have some more rooms. Oh, we have like four doors. So let's go in this one first oh my gosh this is so cute a little nursery oh a little cloud pillow oh my gosh okay this is adorable look at this i love it this would be buddy's room how cute is that oh wait can you sit on here you can you can just sit on here and you have a beautiful view of berry avenue oh my gosh this is so cute i love that and then in this room, we have the shared bathroom. So we just have a shower, toilet, and a sink in here. And then we have two more rooms. In this one, we have a double bedroom. So it could be like a guest bedroom. Nice and cozy. Love the mirror. Love the oak vibe in here too. And then in this final room... Oh, look at this. We have like a little lounge room. We have a pool table. And then we have a sofa and a TV. Oh my gosh, look at this. This is cool, like your own little cinema room. Okay, this is cool. Oh my gosh, this is awesome. I really like this house. Let's go see the garden. Okay, so back downstairs. So we have the garden doors near the dining room. Oh, look at this. We have a nice little cover over here. Oh, this is so cool. Look at our swimming pool. You can see the waves in it. So we have a nice little area just to sit down and relax speak with your family you also have like a dining table outside so if you want to eat your breakfast outside when it's a nice day you can or you can have a barbecue here and then if it's a really nice day you can also go ahead and sunbathe by the pool i mean is this not everyone's dream house and then you can put your laundry up over here and then we even have an in the ground trampoline okay yeah this is definitely my favorite house i love it this is definitely the house that i want i want this house so yeah, that is the first Game Pass house, the premium house that we have. We can now go ahead and see the second house, which is a free house. So here we go. Here is our second house, which is the free one, which looks so cute. It's very much in the same sort of style as the first one, but it's just on a much smaller scale. So it's a bit smaller, but it looks so cute. I love the texture on the outside of it. It looks so nice. It reminds me a lot of The Sims. I'm getting like Sims vibes from this, but look. We still have the same flowers over here. And instead of a garage, we just have like a little area over here for the shade so your car won't get rained on. So you can just put it under here, which I always really like. But anyway, let's go ahead and see what it looks like inside. I already like the fact that you have like a porch. So it's really cute over here. I wish they had like a little chair so you can just sit down and like, you know, just watch your neighbors, be nosy. Let's go ahead and go inside. So, ooh. So when we first go inside, we have like a little entry hallway. And we have this really pretty aesthetic like side table and mirror over here. We also have a door. Oh, and this is to a downstairs study. So we still have a study in this room. And I love this painting too. Very pretty. I love the border. And then if we continue down, we have stairs on our left. But let's just see downstairs. So if we go further in, we have the living room, which is very nice and cozy. I do like some smaller um, houses because they do seem more cozy. And I feel like for me... This would be like a perfect house if it was just by myself. And then if we go along in, we have a kitchen. Oh, this is cute. 
I actually really like this. I like this kitchen. This is cute. We have little blinds here. And then we also have a table here too. And then we have a door here, which let's see. Let's go to utility room. Yeah, it does. So we have it to our pantry. And then we also have our utility room in here. And it also leads to our garden, which is so cool. So we have the same kind of aspects. We have a garden. We have, you know, outside laundry so you can dry your clothes. We have trampoline, some seats, a barbecue. We just don't have a swimming pool in this one. But so far, this one's actually really cozy. I like it already. And then let's have a look upstairs. Oh, wait, we have a door here, but this is a door behind the living room. Where does this go? Oh, we have a little downstairs bedroom. Like a little kid's bedroom. That's cute. And then if we go over here to go upstairs, let's see what's up here. Oh, we have a cozy couches right here. I love that they have like a new pose like where you can put your like arm on the sofa and just like chill. So we have four doors. The first door near the stairs is this room here, which looks so cute. Look at this. <gasps> Oh my gosh, I love it. It's very cottage core. So we have this first bedroom, which is with a double bed. And then we also have a little walk-in closet here too. So this is really cute. I like this room. It's like a perfect girl's bedroom. And then next to this room, we have a little nursery. Oh my gosh, this one's cute. This is so cute. It's so cottage core. I love it. It's beautiful. So yeah, this is really cute. And then we have two more rooms. So in this room, we have the bathroom, which looks really nice once again. I love the new textures they have. But yeah, really nice in here. And in the last room, we have a bedroom. Oh, I'm guessing this is like the master bedroom. So this is the main bedroom. We have this really cozy big bed, beautiful view of the garden. We have a little armchair where you guys can just have some reading. Oh yeah, look, we do have some new seating, like poses, look. I got my legs crossed. This is so cute. And then we also have a walk-in closet. Oh, with a light-up mirror, which is so cool. And then here we should have an ensuite. <gasps> Perfect. Oh my gosh, I actually really like this house. I thought I liked the other house more. But actually, I kind of prefer the smaller free house. I think this house is really cozy. It's really cute. I think it's like perfect for like a smaller family. And yeah, I love the look of it. And this is really good to once again do like a little get ready with me. It's very aesthetic in here. So yeah, those were both of the houses. But now let's go downstairs and see the new food recipes. So let me just go downstairs into our little kitchen. Okay, and then let me go up to Remy. Okay, so we have some new dishes. So before we had steak and chips, we had roast dinner, we had pepperoni pizza, pancakes, fish and veg we had cupcakes baby food and an acai bowl but now we have lasagna we have eggs benedict and we have bacon and eggs let me make sure wait do i have everything can i make this now or do i need ingredients <gasps> wait i think i do have them all okay so get my ingredients from the fridge we're gonna go ahead and make these okay i've got my ingredients we just need to go to the pantry and get those here too Okay, I've got everything. Look, we have tomato and basil sauce. We have carrots, we have cheese. Now let's place on the counter. Okay, select an ingredient to prepare. We're gonna do our onions. So I guess we're gonna chop these up. I'm gonna try not to cry. Do not cry. Ooh, okay, good. Okay, next up, we're gonna chop our carrots. Put that onto the tray. Then we are going to place the chopped vegetables and mince onto the stove. So we're gonna go ahead and cook it. Oh, look, you can see the carrots and the meat in there. I do love lasagna. It's one of my favorite dishes. Obviously, I have a vegetarian version, but oh, I do love it. I love home-cooked meals. Then we are going to pick up the tomato sauce and we are going to place that into the frying pan. Okay, let's place this in. Oh, you can see the sauce in there. This is so cool. It's like I'm having actually proper cooking lessons. I'm learning how to cook. Okay, then we're going to pick up the cooked food and then we're going to place it onto the tray. Then we are going to place the frying pan contents into the oven dish. Oh yeah, here, look. Place it in there. Then we're going to pick up the lasagna sheets. We're going to place that on top. We're going to pick up the cheese. Put the cheese in there. Oh, and there we go. Then we're going to go ahead and put it into the oven. Almost there it goes. And then now it's just going to bake. Oh, perfect. That was so much fun. I actually really enjoyed that. I actually really like this kitchen too. Look, it's so beautiful. Okay, and then we're just waiting for it to cook. It actually is going quite fast, which is good because I'm starving. There we go. All done. Let's take that out. 
And I think we're all done. Yeah, then we can just place it down and look. There is our lasagna. Oh my gosh, there's even steam coming off of it. Okay, then let me just take a portion. <gasps> you can see it on the plate. It looks delicious. Go ahead and sit down on our dining room table. And then take a few bites. Oh, very nice. We finally have some good family meals. Lasagna is a top meal of mine. So that was one of our first meals. We have lasagna. Next up, we have new breakfast items. So we have eggs benedict, which is toasted English muffin topped with bacon and poached eggs. So let's go ahead and make that one. Should only take two minutes to cook. So first of all, let's get our ingredients from the fridge and then ingredients from the pantry and then place it here. Actually, let me just go ahead and move the lasagna before it gets in the way. I do not want to mess this up. So let's place our lasagna there. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and we are going to pick up our eggs. And we're going to place it and start cooking our eggs. Oh, our eggs and our bacon. Okay, then we're going to put it onto the tray. Then we're going to cook the other one. Okay, and then now we're cooking the other one. So we're making it one by one. Oh, you can see it on there. It's all cooked. Okay, that's done. Place this on the tray. Oh my gosh, and then you just plate it up just like that. Oh my gosh, that's so easy. Look at that. And all done. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and take a bite. This might be one of the easiest meals that you can make on here. This is cool. Yeah, there is our eggs Benedict. Go ahead and put that on the table. That took less than two minutes. So I put that next to our lasagna. Beautiful. And then finally, we have our eggs and bacon. So let's go ahead and make that. Let's get our fridge. And then do we need things from the pantry? Yes, we do. Place this on the counter. So first we're going to chop up some tomatoes. Then we're going to go ahead and cook our bacon and eggs. Okay, bacon and eggs are done. We're going to place this on here. Oh, and then we can plate up straight away. There we go. Look, now we have a beautiful breakfast. A little fry up like an English fry, which is really cool. So we can just eat that straight away. Let's go ahead and place that on the table. So here are our three new meals. We have eggs benedict, we have lasagna, and then we have bacon and eggs with a tomato. So yeah, very nice. We have some new meals. So now the final thing for us to do in the update is to look on Berrygram and see the new scenes they have. So let's have a look on some new scenes that they have. <gasps> oh, here we go. So we have LA on here now. So we now have new LA background maps. So look, we have Sephora store, which is so cool. We have the inner city, the Beverly Hills, some different um, angles of it. Oh, we have the photography studio. This would be really cool as like an influencer picture. Oh, this is good for like a changing room. Very aesthetic. We have Sephora once again, where it says a lip gloss. Oh, we have an apartment background. Oh, this one's nice. I like that one a lot. Oh, this one's pretty too. Look, we have stairs. We have like in the penthouse. So... We had the palm tree in the background too. Oh, and this one has like the office in the background. So you can see we had the YouTube play buttons. And then we go to prison. But yeah, how cool. We finally have some new backgrounds, which is fun. I'm definitely gonna try and, you know, test those ones out. Because so far, these are my Berry Grand pictures. So I can finally add some more ones, which I'm excited about. Anyway, that is it, guys. That is it for today's update. I hope you guys enjoyed. Go ahead and check it out for yourself. Let me know your thoughts on it and what you guys want to see next. Hopefully that means we'll get some new recipes too. If you guys have any ideas for recipes, let me know. I'd like to see some cookies on there, like little bacon cookies for like autumn Halloween would be really, really fun. But yeah, I really like the houses. I think this house is so cute. I really like it. I love the cottage core kind of theme. But yeah, thank you all so, so, so much for watching. Make sure you guys subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet already. Like to for more content and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!